Okay. Let me see that thing. Ah. Now this, you got that on. Okay. This is a uh, Ruger Blackhawk. This is, uh, let's see what we got here. 44 Magnum. Okay, this is a Ruger Blackhawk. 44 Magnum with a 10 and a half inch barrel. And, uh, I remember when I was a kid, these were famous in the movies as the most powerful handgun in the world. Which, uh, <laughs> Dirty Harry? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it was just kind of nice to get one and have it. Now these are, this one here is a single action uh, cowboy style revolver. Yeah, you open the door on the side and you load your shells in this way. You have to have your hammer back it at a half cock so that it lines up for you to put them in. Look at the size of the damn shell. Yeah, these are real monsters. But a lot of people over the years use this gun for hunting. It'll definitely bring down anything in North America, pretty much. Deer, bear. Probably stop a small vehicle. Mm, more than likely. <laughs> I just say I want to be on the back side of this gun, not the front side. What are you doing, going for the uh, top target? So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we got that target up there. Now this is more or less 25 feet here at the end of this tape. We got 25 feet here. And these things are super accurate, the, these guns. So... Holy shit. Now that's just free hand, one hand, and uh, 25 feet. That's a big ass hole. Yeah, and I'm about six inches low. Hmm. Hell, the barrel like that, you should be able to uh, do a 500 yard shot with that thing. Yeah, it's been done. Okay, now I'll straighten up a little here. I can see that one's low. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let me get this other camera started over here. And uh, how can we get this? Now we'll try this again. We got three last shots in here. Ooh. That's a little better. Pull that one off to right here. Yeah. Hmm. Here, I'll tell you what. You take it back and give it a shot. It's already recording. Okay. There's two more in there. How many shots are in here? Two more. You didn't pull the hammer back yet? No, you can pull the hammer back and it'll go. Holy shit. One more. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. That's both shots right here. Very good. Like damn near in the same hole. You can't beat that. Huh. Okay. Let's load her up again. Here, how do you pause this? A little stiff coming out. Yeah.
Get them all. Yep. Unloaded. Yeah. I'm not wasting this brass. That's a lot of metal. Yeah, drop them right in there. Okay. Now. Yeah, I'd say with that barrel right there, this uh, gun's a little bit more accurate than that small one. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't shoot them a whole lot, so I'm not used to how they're shooting. Here, you want to take this and you throw the first three out of it, and then I'll get the last two. It's already recording. Let me, uh, let me get my... I'll go for the bottom target. Okay. Look at that shot. That's dead center in the bullseye. Right, side. yeah, there we go. Now. Nice. Okay, I get the next three. See if I can do as good as you. Now, how were you doing them? Were you thinking that's clear down level with the uh, thing, or were you putting I, it on? I just put the uh, the front, the top of the front sight post flush with this, and put this dead center in the bullseye. Okay. All right. I'll try the top target. Nope, I'm still shooting low. Well, you seem to be low. Look at them three deadly ass shots right there. Yeah, you put them right in. Holy jeez. I got shit lucky on that first one and put a dead smack in the bullseye. Okay. Well, That's a fun gun to shoot right there. No, it hurts. <laughs> it definitely hurts. <laughs> I, I, I think, I'll, how, how far back is the uh, is that tree line back there? Uh, Try to do a long range. Okay. Shot with that one. What? I'm gonna turn it in. Already recording. Cool. Okay, now we're doing 100 feet. 44 Magnum. I'm, I'm gonna cheat and take the uh, kneeling position here. Ruger Blackhawk. We're gonna see what we got. I think that's only five. One more? Yeah, there's one more in there. I can, I, can hear, I can still hear it echoing. That ain't too bad. That's a nice sounding gun. It's that longer barrel lets it get away without uh, jamming the noise right back at you. 
All right, now let's see if I even hit the box. Oh shit, look at those shots. All right, I took what, six shots? Yep. Should be six, there wasn't any holes in that target at all. You ran the side of the box. We're at, oh, right there. Right there, one went right across the side and the other ones are, the other five, they're nice and straight. Yeah, see, this must, height. that must have been my standing shot yeah, right there. Just off one to the pull side. to the left, that's, that's really good. I'll tell you what, for the up and down's pretty good on that. I mean, the, yeah. the left and right. I had to work on the up and down, but I'm sure my hand was good. I, whenever I sight my target and I always, if, if you're going to move, I always drift up and down. Yeah. And then I try to squeeze as I'm coming down onto the, because you can't hold the gun perfectly still like that. So, so I move. So that's that's definitely the way I was aiming and pulling the trigger. Yeah. That had to have been the one you were standing up. Yeah, I was going to say the one I was standing up, I wasn't able to hold it as straight up and down as when I had it rested on my leg. You gonna give it a shot, Dad? You gonna try some hundred yard shots? <laughs> <laughs> Put it back up there. Hundred yard shot. I don't think I have six anymore. No, I got four. Oh, so I didn't want to get in and get some more. Yeah, these you don't get some more. <laughs> they're a lot of money. I don't think there is any more down there. That one, I loosened up my grip just a little bit when I was squeezing the trigger. That damn gun about flipped out of my hand. Uh, see, it got, it got by on the cylinder there. See? Oh, yeah, they're turning around. There we go. Just before the click. Yeah. They almost fall out whenever you get it. There we are. Yeah. I like these guns. This is just really good. Yeah. Then you have a chrome plated one of those? I have a Smith & Wesson chrome plate. Oh, there's the Smith & Wesson one. I don't know if it was that one. It's nickel plated. But nickel plated. It is. Beautiful. It's only been fired the one shot that was test fired. And then I loaded the cylinder, fired six shots, cleaned it, put it back in the box, and it's been there ever since. Those are, are some really good ones there. I want to try to get some... Uh, Hundred day ballistic tips for them. So get a little more range. Forty four Farmington Magnums. Alright. I say we did good, we can pack it.